in 1980 uh, when uh, indira gandhi was reelected he was the first secretary that she removed and you know he was by i mean he was the most knowledgeable person everybody would say on defense uh, he was also a very upright person maybe that caused a problem i don't know external affairs minister dr s j shankar in a recent interview talked about his father krishna swami subramanyam who was he and what did he do we tell you all about that in this video an is officer one of india's most reputed strategic thinkers and a towering authority on geopolitics who enjoyed the confidence of a series of prime ministers K Subramaniam was born in January 1929 in Tamil Nadu's Tiruchirappalli. He went to Madras Presidency College and subsequently entered the Indian Administrative Service. He was the founding director of the security think tank Institute for Defence Studies and Analysis, which is now known as Manohar Parrikar Institute for Defence Studies and Analysis. So what did his career look like? In his long career as civil servant and strategic affairs expert, Subramaniam was known for among other things chairing the Kargil War Review Committee and for his championing of India's nuclear deterrence policy. In fact, then Prime Minister Manmohan Singh said something about him when he passed away in 2011. He said Subramaniam had made important and lasting contributions to the evolution of India's defense, security and foreign policies. And not just him, Then Vice President Hamid Ansari described him as the doyen of the strategic affairs community in India and said he remained one of the key architects of the security policy doctrine he was instrumental in sensitizing policy makers and citizenry to strategic issues and helping formulation of policy options to tackle them In fact in 1999 Subramaniam refused to accept Padma Bhushan saying that bureaucrats and journalists should not accept government awards some of the highlights of his career in 1998 under prime minister atal bihari vajpayee subramaniam was appointed the convener of the first national security council advisory board which drafted the country's draft nuclear doctrine In face of both internal and international opposition subramaniam's position remained that while india needed nuclear weapons it would not resort to first use in fact he wrote in an article for the internet express in 2009 no country campaigned as vigorously for nuclear disarmament as india which was finally compelled to declare itself a nuclear weapon state because of the extremely delicate security situation in which it found itself there is a near universally shared perception that deterrence has worked and the indian official nuclear doctrine is based on this premise in 1999 subramaniam was appointed chairman of the kargil review committee set up by the government in the aftermath of the war with pakistan the committee recommended changes in the structure of the indian intelligence services and the creation of a chief of defense staff that is cds and this was finally adopted in december 2019 by the narendra modi government with former army chief late general bipin rawat becoming the first cds